Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now, this whole Jeannie Mai and Jeezy situation is a lot worse than I anticipated. It really is. It really is. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. New information has come to the surface, one of which I was right about, right? But it's a lot of new information that has come out that really sheds a lot of light on why Jeezy, you know, ended up divorcing and leaving ultimately Jeannie Mai. See, when it comes to a lot of women of today, we don't know how to handle a real authentic masculine man. We don't. We're used to dealing with very weak, very noodle back, very slave-esque type of guys that will just do whatever we want them to do, that will just be bossed around, talk to any kind of way. And when we come across a man that is heavy in his masculine, we don't know how to really handle that or deal with that. And we don't understand that when it comes to real men, they're not afraid to leave you, ma'am. Real authentic men, they know and understand their value. They know and understand that they have options. They know and understand that you, ma'am, can be easily replaced. Y'all like the video, show the video, and subscribe. This is some real talk. A lot of these chicks, especially in today's time, they are used to dealing with guys that need them. They're used to dealing with guys that are not on the same level as them or better. They're not used to dealing with guys that are assertive. They're not used to dealing with guys that have boundaries. They're not used to dealing with guys that actually back up and mean what they say. See, when a guy needs you to survive and thrive, and you're the one that calls the shots and it's the breadwinner and all of that, they'll let you get away with a hell of a lot more than a real masculine, authentic man. Because I need her. So I better know my place. I better shut up and eat my food. But see, women like Jeannie Mai, <laughs> they find out the hard way. It's a very difficult and hard lesson that a lot of these boss chicks really learn the hard way. I came across this video um, that was on, I believe, the Impressive Channel. Shout out to the Impressive Channel. And again, you all, what I said in my previous uh, dope discussion regarding the situation I was spot on. See, your little big sister knows what she's talking about. I know how to peep game, all right? I can be off sometimes, but I know how to peep game, and I'm a little bit psychic, okay? So when I came across the information that Jeannie Mai's mother was somebody that was too heavily invested into the marriage, I said, yeah, I knew it. As a matter of fact, let's run the clip. Um, I also believe that Jenny Mai is the type of female that will involve her mother, right, into the mix of her marriage. And that also can be a huge deal breaker for a man. Jenny Mai's mom is really heavy within their home environment, really involved within their family unit. And that could just be something that is an extreme turnoff for a man when, you know, he's feeling like the third and fourth wheel within his own household. And there you have it. So when I saw this, I said, yeah, I knew it. See, I know how to peep game. Okay. I didn't get this far 
in my own marriage for nothing okay um but y'all like the video share the video and subscribe and let's play this it was said that Jeezy could not handle Jeannie and her overbearing family her mother lives with her the brother lives with her and that was just a lot for him and in the Asian culture families live together children take care of their parents so it's normal but for Jeezy it just felt very intrusive he felt like he was being smothered I'm assuming which is why he and Jeannie began living in different places because it's just too much to have your family around all the time and Jeannie's family is not an easy family to deal with her mother is very controlling and she lacks boundaries as well and Jeannie and her mother don't always get along either so I can imagine that there was a lot of bickering and the environment just wasn't peaceful for Jeezy. Oh, now there's more, there's more. But when I saw that that was actually valid, what I said in my previous video about Jeezy and Jeannie Mai and her mother probably being too heavily involved and in investing into their marriage, I said, whoa, <laughs> I knew it. Cause once again, we're not accustomed to men that have boundaries we're used to dealing with guys that will let us just trample all over him our mothers included when we are very accustomed to getting our way having our way and then a man tells us no yeah i'm pretty sure that genie Mai bit back on that and so did her mom because it was like hold on who are you to tell me no who are you to tell my mother that we can't do x y and z and one two and three do you know who i am i'm a boss chick and then when we come from these boss chicks as well it makes it even more worse you know it makes it even worse when not only you feel like you are this strong powerful boss chick but when your mother is the same way and she more than likely raised you to be the same exact way that she is that just is a recipe for destruction and disaster and again when it comes to real authentic men masculine men they're not playing that no what you ladies are displaying is pseudo masculinity pseudo power i have the real deal i am the real deal so if i tell you no i don't need your mother trying to interject telling me you know now you're gonna do whatever my daughter wants you. no both of y'all will get checked and if it continues you will get loved Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe to some real talk. A real man will leave you. They're not going to go back and forth with you. They're not going to argue with you. They're not going to beg with you. They're not going to plead with you. You will get a warning at best. And if it's no changed behavior, they're out. Y'all not used to that. Y'all not used to that again it's a very tough and hard lesson that women learn you can play that with him because he needs you i don't when a real masculine man has you to be a part of his life it is because he wants you there again it's a privilege it's an honor for you to be there he found it suitable for whatever reason to have you to be a part of his universe maybe you made life more enjoyable for him maybe you made life a little bit more easier for him but by no means does he need you to survive and thrive man so the moment that you get out of pocket you can go the moment that you start getting out of hand in my pockets you can go you and your mama See, when it comes to women, we're so used to having our way. 
my mama can have something to say my brother can have something to say my daddy my sister can have something to say everybody gets a piece of this if they all want to go in on you if we all want to jump you that's what it's going to be take it but real masculine authentic men nah they will they will leave all of y'all right where you stand won't think twice about it Let's continue. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This is another reason why a real masculine man will leave you. Let's continue. Also, they had disagreements in how they would raise their daughter. It was said that Jeannie would walk their daughter to school and Jeezy didn't like that because he felt like it wasn't safe and people would find out where they lived. So he had real concerns about that, but Jeannie didn't respect those wishes. Mm, let's pause. Now, not only did Jeannie Mai have her mother heavily invested into her relationship, probably bossing her man around, trying to tell him what, you know, he needs to do and all of that. But on top of that, he left because she made it difficult for him as the masculine man that he is to protect his family. That is another key reason why a real man will leave you. If you get in the way of him being able to effectively make sure that his home is secured, his children are secured, and you as his woman is secured, he will leave you, ma'am, because you are a hazard. You are, you are now a danger. And so you cannot be out here as women talking about you want a man to protect you, yet you are the reason why he can't. You're going against everything that he is trying to set in motion to make sure that you all are safe, yet you want him to protect you. How? When you're the problem. Again, a real man will leave you if you make his job hard as far as doing what he is supposed to do. Which is to protect you. Now, let me say this. And y'all like the video. It's one thing for you to be out here on this strong, independent, boss chick energy, and I can do what I want to do, and ain't nobody going to touch me, and ain't nobody going to mess with me. They, they don't want these problems. It's one thing for you to carry yourself like that and place yourself directly in harm's way. But when I have a child, hear me out. When I have a child there, it's no longer just about you. And that's what a real man will start to consider. Okay, I see what she's on. She clearly does not care about her own safety and protection. However, I have a little girl there. Or however, I have a little boy there. And so now that has become a problem for me. So what I need to do is remove my child from said party. Because they think, obviously, that I'm playing. They obviously think this is a game, and it's not. So when Jeezy is telling her, hold on, baby, you might not want to just be out here in the open like that as far as walking the baby to and from school. You know, that gives a lot of people who may not mean us the best access to us, access to my baby, they may follow you and find out where we stay. They may follow you and figure out your routine, your schedule. That can just be dangerous. And to protect my household and protect my child, look, I'm going to need you to figure out something else because this is not it. And like I said, I can bet Jeannie Ma was like, uh-uh. She needs to be able to live a regular, normal life and walk to school like all the other kids. She needs to be able to experience this and experience that. And Jesus was like, okay, ma'am, 
testing me. You're already on strike two. You're testing me. Our child is not a normal, regular child, okay? Our child is a celebrity child. And what you are doing is making my child touchable. And not only are you making it to where my child is touchable, but you're providing an easy outlet for somebody to do so. So again, that is another reason why a real man will leave you, ma'am. A real man will leave you once you become a hazard. Let's continue. And again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is some real talk. I could not believe this, you all. It was a lot more to the puzzle as far as why Jeezy left Jeannie Mai. And honestly, I don't blame him. With all of these details coming out, I don't blame him. Real reality check, a lot of females learn the hard way when they're messing with real authentic masculine men. They don't play. Not only do they have to protect you and their children, but they ultimately have to protect themselves. And if you are going to make my life a living hell, make my life harder, no, you can go. And also, I personally feel like he couldn't tolerate the way Jeannie would talk to him sometimes. I wouldn't be surprised if Jeannie sometimes talked to him the way she used to talk to her ex-husband, Freddie. I used to watch The Real a lot. I think I've almost seen every episode and I would remember how Jeannie used to talk about Freddie and how she would treat him. She called him a Mitch, which is the equivalent to a male B word. And also she said that she was very controlling. I feel like I married my version of a Mitch. Really? Yes, when he's sick and his mom is around, it's a totally different man that I don't even know. What, what do you have to say about this description of you? You know, one word that she brings up a lot is compassion. compassion. Maybe, maybe I'm just looking for some compassion in, in situations, you know? Yes. Because if I don't get it at home, at least I can get it from my mother. You know? I surprised myself because I am an alpha female in my own controlling situations in my life. And then when I got married, I got annoyed of myself because I'm hella controlling. Yeah. There is so much to unpack with that last little piece there alone. What did I say earlier? Earlier, I said that when it comes to a lot of these females of today, they are used to dealing with weak men. Even if that man does not need them, right let's say they're dealing with a man that has his own money is successful has his own resources assets access connections even if he can't stand on his own as a man he's not a man though you know what i'm saying he's not somebody that um demands respect he's not somebody that will check a woman again respectfully He'll just kind of like bend to the will of whatever his woman desires for him to do. But when it comes to real authentic men, masculine men, they're not going to play that on any level. A lot of these guys out here are on this whole notion of, you know, happy wife, happy life. So even if she's in the wrong and even if she is disrespecting me and neglecting me and not taking into account or consideration my feelings, what I want, what my desires are, you know, just to make sure that she is happy and everything is smooth sailing, I'll just go ahead along with the flow. You have guys out there that do that. But again, ladies, when it comes to real authentic masculinity, they are not going to compromise their masculinity, their position 
And you better know they're not going to compromise their respect. And so, again, Jeannie Mai clearly and obviously was used to having a man that she could disrespect by calling him names like a Mitch. You, you might as well just call him the B word. You know? Like she was used to that type of energy. To where, yeah, like... Uh, He's just such a Mitch. And then for her to say that on national TV, <laughs> the disrespect was out of this world. For her to be that comfortable spoke volumes as far as, you know, the treatment that she had of that man, the respect level that she had for that man, how she viewed herself, how she is as a woman. Like that spoke volumes. And so if we are so accustomed to getting that off, we have no problem with talking to any man on that level. Married to him or not. So if she could disrespect her own husband like that, can you imagine how she treated, you know, just regular men that she had no obligation to, no responsibility to, no love for? I could only imagine. And so, yeah, these real men ain't going to play that, mans. They're not going to play the disrespect me while I protect you and love you and respect you, gang. No, I will leave. We're not used to men actually backing up what, they, what they're saying. And let me also say this. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Because this is what a real masculine, authentic man will do. Now, earlier I said they will give you a warning at best. Yes, they will. They will give you some attempts to clean it up. Especially when they have gone as far as marrying you. Because that's a huge investment. That's a huge commitment. And men just don't do that for no reason. Right? And so they'll be damned, like I said in our, in our previous dope discussion, if they waste their investment. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jeezy warned her. Look, your mama is too heavily involved in our mix. And I believe... It was more information that was revealed that Jenny Ma had our whole damn family moving into the house. And her and Jeezy were actually living apart. I heard she had her mama there, her brother there. Like, what? Why do you have another grown man in the house that your husband is taking care of? Like, when, a, when your husband marries you? He signs up to marry and be with you and take care of you and be in a home with you, not taking on the responsibility of, you know, making sure that your mama got food and shelter and clothes and then your grown brother. Like, what? Hell no. You can go. But yeah, all the way around. I'm pretty sure Jeezy was like, look, you got too much of your family involved in our business. You're putting way too much on my plate as far as me having to make sure that I'm looking out for them as well. And I get no perk and benefit out of them. You know, at least with you, I'm able to get a little bit of sloppy toppy or something. You know, I'm just being real, y'all, okay? Because at least you can get that out of your wife. But me taking care of your brother and then your mother, I get no perk, no benefit out of that. I'm just supposed to do this for the free? Uh-uh, no, no, man. So, yeah, you got that going on. Hey, baby, check your mama. Then, hey, baby, I'm trying to protect you and the baby. So I'm going to need you to respect me and my rules and regulations as far as what I deem to be safe for you all to do. I don't want my daughter being raised like that. 
I don't want my daughter being exposed like that. I don't want people all up in our mix knowing your routine, knowing your schedule, knowing where my baby is and when she's there. Like, I, I just don't think that they're safe. So can you not do that, please? Still no change. Another thing. Hey, baby. Your attitude a little off. You're way too demanding, way too controlling. You, you need to clean that up. I know Jeezy was warning her. Because I know what real authentic masculine men do. They will warn you. They will give you a chance to, again, do better and clean it up. But being strong and independent females that we are today, do we listen? No, we feel like we can overpower that man into just doing whatever we wanted him to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll eventually get him to, you know, just bend to my will. I just got to train him. Yeah, I just got to train him. Ma'am, when it comes to real authentic masculine men, you are the one that gets trained. Whoopsie. What you mean, get trained? I'm not no dog. Let me break it down for y'all. Real authentic masculine men know and understand the type of women that they are dealing with today. It's a lot of unlearning, relearning, undoing, redoing, molding, shaping that goes into, you know, getting the woman to be what you need her to be. Due to our upbringings, our mothers, fathers even, can do a lot of damage to us to where we're just destroyed we don't know how to conduct ourselves within a relationship let alone a marriage we don't know how to be taught how to be led we don't know how to listen we don't know how to compromise we don't know how to do anything but be catered to and babied and pacified that's all we know how to do all we know how to do is get our way. So with men understanding that, real authentic masculine men understanding that, you know, they will work with you. They'll get you to redo that attitude, undo the attitude. They'll get you and let you clean up your treatment of them. They'll let you and allow you the room to evolve and grow. They understand what they're dealing with, especially in America. The women here, whoa, programmed entirely wrong. So yeah, they understand that it's a lot of training that goes into that. A lot of patience, love, care. Yeah, you're going to have to do that dealing with women in America. Let's just be honest. But after a while of all of their warnings, all of their advice, all of their rules, regulations, stipulations being pretty much ignored, discarded of, yeah, it's, it's, it's time to go ahead and bounce because clearly you take me as a joke. Jeezy probably was left and right telling Jeannie Ma, look, stop doing this. Don't do that. No. And Jeannie Ma was like, oh, well, I'll just beat him into submission. You know, I'll just, he'll eventually just get it and know that he has to roll over and not me. And I'm not even saying that women have to just, you know, Bark like a dog and bounce on one leg. No, I'm not saying that. But when it comes to a relationship, the man is the leader. 
And the woman does need to be able to follow the leadership of her man. That is the role. And Jeannie Mai, from what you were saying, you understood that. You understood submission. You couldn't wait to submit to your husband, right? That's what you said. So with that in mind, yeah, you're going to have to abide by the rules. And if you're not going to be in alignment and if you're not going to be able to be taught and shown better, again, I will go. And a lot of us women are not used to men actually leaving. When it comes to real authentic masculine men, they will leave without thinking twice. You are replaceable to them. As much as they love you, as much as they value you, honor you the whole nine. I mean, clearly Jeezy honored and loved her. He married her, gave her a baby and everything. So there had to be some love there. But if the disrespect outweighs the love, I'll warn you. And if you don't get it together, I will leave you. I don't care how fine you are. I don't care how sloppy the toppy is. I don't care how good you throw it back and ride. I will ride on up out of here. And that is the lesson that women learn the hard way. Real men don't play. Real men will leave you. They have options. They know their value. They know their worth. They, they know and understand what they bring to your life. And so if I'm going to be expected to make your life better and easier, if I'm going to be expected to provide for you, take care of you and our children, all of that, I'm going to need you, ma'am, to make that easy for me to be able to execute upon. And I cannot execute upon that if you are going to constantly be giving me pushback, constantly be going back and forth with me, having your mama involved trying to run me, dictate me, rule me, and not taking into account or consideration what I need from you. It doesn't work that way. And Jeannie Mai found out the hard way, just like so many other women will. And already have. Already have. Don't believe me? Let's take a poll. <laughs> Y'all know how I like to do. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Now, y'all already know that my brothers rock with their little big sister real heavy. So I know they're in the building. I'm going to ask the question of, fellas, put a two in the chat. If you've ever been in a situation, in a relationship or a marriage, to where you kept warning your woman not to do something, to stop doing something, and you told her, look, if this doesn't change, I'm going to leave. And she kept testing you and you actually left and she didn't see it coming. Put a two in the chat if that's ever happened to you. Put a one in the chat if you're the type of guy that's just like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it out. I'm not going to leave her. I'll just let her do what she want to do because, again, happy wife, happy life. Put a one if that's you. But put a two if your woman had to F around and find out. And I bet we see a bunch of twos because, unfortunately, there's a lot of females out there that really do feel like, yeah, I'm the baddest chick. He's not going to go anywhere. He can't replace me. He's just talking. He'll be here. And then he was like, oh, oh yeah. That, that's how you feel. And he was up out of there. Put a two if that was you. I'll wait. And if we see a bunch of twos, that is because we have a lot of chicks out here that really underestimate the power of a real authentic man, masculine man, and they feel like they have that type of power over him to where, you know, they can test him. 
and he'll eventually just again submit to whatever I give to him. But I'm telling y'all right now, if you have a good, authentic, masculine man, I'm gonna need you to act accordingly because they will leave you and they will not think twice. They don't even want to talk about it. I've been talking about it. I've been warning you. I've been telling you what I needed from you. You didn't want to listen. You thought it was a joke. Because I gave you two and three chances, you thought, oh, okay, yeah, he, he ain't going to go nowhere. And then he did. But, yeah, you all, I just thought I would come on here and... Highlight these newfound details as far as why um, Jeannie Mai got left by her husband, Jeezy, and also make it a teachable moment for all of us as far as, you know, when it comes to real authentic masculine men, they will leave you. So get your act together, ladies. Get your stuff together. They're not playing with you. It's, it's not a game. It's not a joke. Don't learn the hard way. I love y'all. I respect y'all. I thank you all so much for pulling up with me. Y'all let me know your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback down below. And I'm going to see you all in the next dope discussion. All right. And again, you all make sure that you like the videos, share the videos, subscribe to the channel, and also make sure that you are hitting that notification bell. That way you can be alerted for future dope discussions. All right. With that being said, much love and peace to my crown heads.